Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Chess and welcome back to Day Art Survival. So this will be the first part of the entirety of um, the big update. And yeah, we're here to, um, you know, like review these big updates, right? And the first thing that we will do is actually from checking all these um, new schematics, I would say. Or just, you know, like scrolling through all this crafting stuff. As well as all the recipes that are over here and probably new as well. So yeah, without any further ado, let's actually go into it. But before that, actually, um, as you can see here at the bottom right corner, I'm at version 7.2.4. And at the time I'm recording this, there's actually already another patch, I would say. Um, I'm not entirely really sure what it's about, but I guess it's just bug fixes, right? Um, you know, like it's not really major update anyway. So yeah, I might want to wait um, to upgrade into the new version, basically. Maybe after this, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, there is actually a lot of stuff as well um, that are new, like you know like uh, maybe we'll cover that in the next episode as well but for now let's just actually focus on the crafting and uh, recipe first let's actually take a look at the recipes first um i guess we we can just uh, scroll through everything right because you know like um if you haven't played since 2021 then most of this will probably be new for you uh, although I don't think uh, like all of this is changed, um, the new recipe is this one, which is the sausage, and that's about it. Uh, we'll actually talk about that. Let's start with the tailed resolve over here. Um, upon crafting or cooking, you get one of these, and it replenishes your food by 25. Also gives you marathon runner. Uh, the effect will be walking speed plus 3 kilometers. So if you if you are using mile system, um, I don't know, like uh, I don't think it's possible in game, but uh, it's basically like about two miles, you know, like um, one mile is about 1.6 kilometers, if I remember correctly. But yeah, just for the sake of simplicity, let's just say one mile is one and a half kilometers. So, you know, like uh, this will be two miles, basically. Um requires four red meat, raw one, uh, raw red meat basically, and then one rusks and uh, salt, one salt uh, specifically. And you know like um, I'm from Asia but eating red meat is not really, you know like, a, I mean if you guys know like Asian, especially like Southeast Asian or East Asian, then you know like eating rats will be common, right? But not in you know not specifically in my country we don't actually eat rat or mouse or anything like um you know like the majority don't really eat that um uh, maybe like the point one percent or something like that like very small amount of people still eat rat meat i guess um as i don't know like even before the pandemic started, we, we we already don't eat this, right? Maybe if you see like um, in China or in uh, Korea, or I don't know, like in any other Southeast Asia, right? Uh, countries, so not mine anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's quite interesting they actually put these. I mean, this is old recipe as well, so there's that. Uh, maybe Russian actually eat rats. Um, I don't know, like you know like there is some thoughts into eating rats right like uh, it's rodent uh, you know like it lives in the sewer it lives uh, you know like in a dirty uh, environment right so we're kind of concerned about the health issue right so yeah there's that anyway let's move on to pasta with ground beef uh, one upon crafting and then it requires one pasta, two clean water, and one canned beef. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, this is actually a great uh, food source, especially if you are early, um, when you don't really have anything, right? Uh, pasta is, you can find this, I think, quite easily in the uh, intact houses, as well as the canned beef, and, you know, the clean water, you can get it um, pretty much, you know, like... 
it's approachable right like you can actually get clean water or buy from the npc as well um so yeah it gives you this uh this is actually great for early because it gives you carry weight uh, extra 15 kilograms or that's about 30 pounds um so yeah especially when early game you don't really have backpacks or vehicles right so you don't really carry much and you know this always helps right increasing by 15 kilograms but yeah there's that also it gives you 70 uh, food and 25 water although i believe this one got nerfed i think it it was like 100 and uh 50 i think or something like that right i kind of forgot already um so yeah, there's that. Next will be sausage, and this one is quite um, interesting because upon cooking, you will get three sausages instead of only one. And the recipe is uh, salted meat. Although, however, you can actually just use raw minced meat, uh, 15 of them. So you don't have to make it salted first. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And then fat. However, this one has to be fat, and it cannot use raw fat back like uh, let's use ingredients and yeah let's remove the fat and this one yeah it doesn't work right um it has to be fat and then to salt to salt as well and it gives you sausage times three and it gives you 50 food the thing about sausage is that at the moment it doesn't really have um what is it like um do i have that yeah i have uh it doesn't really give it doesn't really have expiration date although it's quite um quite weird because i think sausage is kind of expirable although however it's processed uh, meat right like i guess any kind of uh, processed meat actually will last longer so maybe there's that um but i'm still glad it doesn't have uh so what's the use of sausage um it doesn't really have any use specifically at the moment um you know like it doesn't get used in any other of this recipe over here however there is actually one specific use uh for sausage um i think i'm going to show you like right now let's go to the coast uh let's go fishing and let's swap the bait into this one the sausage as you can see over here um there is actually tears in baits now um you know like uh this one is blue right or which is rare tier i guess which is uh getting fish up to 40 as you can see over here the other ones are not as high as the sausage right so you might want to consider using sausage probably for faster fishing because you can get up to 40 fish um rotten meat is not great uh rotten meat is only three up to three fish so there's that and then um there is all sort of this as well right uh, as you can see over here dried fish dried meat i mean gives you up to 13 fish so this is actually very great and you can also use the fish uh to catch the fish right as the bait i guess uh, it's like more like inception or something like that you use the fish to bait more fish so there's that uh but anyway that's probably for other um like other video as well but yeah let's continue i guess so we are at this might be a long episode honestly because there's just so many stuff that we need to uh, explain right and then with resol um i guess it's kind of the same as tailed resol uh instead of four it it needs three salted meat or minced meat it's the same thing basically to rusk to salt one water and it gives you one meat resol um yeah there's that it gives you strapping lead as well uh, maximum hp plus 25 but you know don't really matter uh i guess hp is not really concerned like right now anyway but it may be for early game uh, but i don't know like um you can always tank your hits by using your pets right and then uh, placing your pets in the defensive area so that they can dodge or something like that but yeah there's that also like um if your if the enemy is about to attack for 100 or 200 then adding 25 doesn't really matter right you you will still die at the end uh, so there's that next will be the compote over here it's still the same i remember this water apple or any fruit i guess uh let's swap this with cranberry over here yeah it works uh, and then sugar as well so yeah there you go um 
it's I think it got nerfed I believe it was 20 energy or something like that I'm not sure but yeah maybe not uh, I don't know I kind of forgot already still it doesn't have expire expiration time I guess it will last forever basically which is great right and then the next will be mushroom soup um, it requires two chanterelle I guess yeah it's the mushroom and then uh, clean water three of them and one salt upon creation or cooking it will give you 35 foot 15 water and one of uh, only one of the soup right so yeah it requires three water because it makes sense right because it's soup it it requires water uh, that's just about it i guess also it gives you training one um starting action points plus one this is not bad but there's actually a better version which will cover uh, after this as well um yeah good food source i guess it's only chandra right nothing uh, crazy water salt can get it from npc so you know just search in the forest you get yourself chandra uh there's there you go and then candy apple one apple and seven sugar i think this was supposed to be five but it's seven now uh again not entirely sure right um that that's just about it uh candy apple i presume you can you cannot really swap the apple with the cranberry um yeah it doesn't work like that uh, because obviously it's candy apple not cranberry uh candy cranberry right so yeah uh gives you one uh 25 foot 15 energy uh energetic one max energy plus 25 now this is quite interesting um Increasing maximum energy is actually much more uh, valuable than increasing maximum HP because energy you require you need energy to go somewhere right like you go looting you go um, You do stuff you craft stuff you need energy. So yeah, there you go uh, Especially since like nowadays sleep uh, Resting is actually nerfed. So you know like uh, it's always nice right to have maximum energy and then mashed potato uh two potatoes to clean water one salt gives you one mashed potato and it gives you firing range uh it's actually great um this will be like one of the food combo that you want as well firing range if you don't have high range uh the perk then this will be great um you know like this is like one of the combo that i like as well so yeah there you go um we'll explain the combo later on uh, i guess because there's also another food that gives you better stuff and then slick i guess uh, which is like a skewed uh, meat i guess it requires salted meat or minced meat i guess it's kind of the same i guess and homemade wine uh, okay and then salt so the homemade wine is probably not as easy as you um you know it's not easy to get basically um i think you need to brew or you know you need to like make wine i guess you can also buy from npc but i think it's quite expensive so there's that uh it gives you counter attack though counter attack with melee weapon so if you have knife if you have axe i think polar axe also works here it you will counter attack with those melee weapons or spear or you know any other uh, melee weapon basically uh, gives you this uh, great source of food, I guess. 1 and 20 and then 10, as well as reducing minus 15. It's probably because of the wine over here. Yeah, it reduces radiation by 50. Then this reduces by 15. It makes sense. And then salted meat or the uh, minced meat, I guess. It's 5, but it only gives you 50, right? Now it gives you 120, which is always great. Um, mushroom pasta, this is just the same kind of the same as pasta with ground beef but this is more like a cheaper version of that it doesn't give you any buff or effect like that uh, just one pasta one water one chanterelle and you get yourself food i guess and hp as well to replenish replenish i mean um you know, there you go one of them and next will be snake snack uh jack be nimble this is actually great but the thing is that it only increased by 10 percent like um you know you need to be 10 percent lucky right to dodge stuff anyway i uh, don't think this is actually great um so yeah it, it got nerfed i think i think it was like 25 percent but not only 10 percent i might be wrong though uh but yeah there you go it requires snake 
uh, specifically snake because you know the name snake snack not um you know right raw meat snack i guess like meat snack not like that it's snake snack uh, one rusks and one salt as well um i guess if you like some kind of snack i guess but i i don't think it's worth it anyway so yeah there you go you you will need to be lucky to to proc that dots effect right which is only 10 percent and then the next will be pie um one flour to water to apples and one sugar let's actually see if the apples is switchable or uh you know interchangeable with oh it still does okay so you can also use cranberries apparently for the pie or i guess strawberry as well i don't have strawberry at the moment i don't think uh yeah i don't have strawberry that's why uh, there's that i cannot uh but you know i think you can actually use strawberry as well strawberry pie basically cranberry pie apple pie whatever right um you know it gives you speed walker over here movement range in battles plus one this is also great if you like it i guess um you can also use demon mask from the halloween so that you can uh, move extra step as well so yeah there you go by one but i think this got nerf i kind of remember you get multiple pi but now it's only one um i guess there's that um maybe it's something else but no i don't think so yeah you're, you you used to get multiple pi right right and now you only get one so yeah that's kind of nerfed uh potato pancakes to um but it's more like uh what is it called again um has right like has brown or something like that because it requires potato right i guess potato pancakes or has basically uh one flour to salt one egg and one spice um you can get egg and spice from uh looting from uh npc also you can get eggs in the wasteland as well just search the wasteland basically Mule to carry weight 30 kilograms, but at this point, um, I don't think you will need this. Um, I don't know, like, um, I feel like if you can get this, uh, chances are you don't really need this. Uh, you can just use uh, this one pasta with ground beef anyway. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, where were I again? Where was I? Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, gives you 100 uh, foot though. This great i guess or you can just cook your potato and eat it raw and then you know make flour but if you can see over here none of this actually gives food right at the raw material i guess flour doesn't give you food this one doesn't give you food obviously it's salt spices as well obviously only the egg right for 15 but after you mix everything you gain 100 which is great uh, i guess and then next will be sushi um yeah also i think this one also you get multiple of them i'm not sure uh well obviously the picture says you got two right but you only got one so i think it's kind of nerf again i'm not sure i think you get like four or six or two i guess uh, but now it's only one uh didn't remember okay uh rice grain obviously for the rice um clean water and then salted fish you can also use raw fish i think um you know like to make the sushi as well and obviously salt so yeah there you go uh, 50 foot not bad and then minus 6 radiation i guess it's great doesn't have any buff so you know like maybe you don't want to eat that the next will be bread um one flour one egg one water one sugar one salt i think they still the same uh hearty food although the parameter i think got changed uh remember guys uh the first thing i think uh about the update is that you know like the first in the list uh i guess like the first five i think it says that parameters everything got changed right um for the most consumable food so you know like um um like bread i think it got uh reduced as well i don't remember it being 30 and 20 i think it's some kind of 50 or 20 or something like that 50 25 i don't remember gives you one bread and it gives you hearty food what does it do uh effects per hour it increases your food and water every hour so it's nice basically you know like if you eat uh carbo in general right you you will feel full right so it lasts longer so yeah there you go um 
Next will be Palmeni, um, men's meat, salted meat, three of them, one flour to clean water, one salt gives you one Palmeni, 50 foot, 25 water, 10 HP, and strapping line two, maximum HP by 50. Again, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't really, you know, it's not important, especially if you have polar armor, you want your HP at low anyway to gain the berserk buff. So, you know, adding maximum HP doesn't really matter, right, um, for end games anyway. As for early game, like I said as well, if your opponent's about to uh, do damage to you for, like, let's say 100, 200, then adding 50 won't change anything, you will die anyway, so, yeah. Cabbage roll, herbalist, uh, amount of herbs, mushroom, and berries collected, plus 50%. I guess if you like uh, collecting herbs and selling them or making medicines and sell them to the community then it's great for you. Um, you know as for its own food I don't think it's worth it. I mean I don't know I, anyway um, like because this perk doesn't really affect you right. So you might want other food that gives you something else. Uh, two vegetables, one clean water, two salted meat or minced meat, and then rice grains, two salt, and one spices. Give you one cabbage roll. Food is great, 125, 20 HP as well. 20 water, herbalist. I guess, yeah, like I said, if you like herbing or collecting herbs, then this is great for you. Next will be uka, um, two clean water, four salted fish or raw fish as well. Two potatoes and one salt. Um, 25 foot, 15 water. It doesn't look great, right? However, if you can see over here, training 2. This is actually what wins it for me anyway. Training 2, starting action points plus 2. This is also another um, for, for the combo basically. So you have um, this one, mashed potatoes, which give you plus 1 fire range. Uh, plus 25 foot right and then the next will be uka which is also 25 it gives you training to starting action points by two so it means that um during this period of time duration under the effect every time you go into combat you will start your action point by two well duh it's basically that's about it um so why is it matter well the first thing uh, if you fight against bandits there will be multiples of them right so you want to take as many bandits as you can in the first turn, right? So that you don't get hit as much in the next turn. So, you know, like um, sniping things like preemptively is always great to help you save, basically. Um, so, yeah, training too. This is actually very great, uh, especially if you want to beat bandit base as well. Um, increasing by two, then you can hit the two close uh, sniper. And if you're lucky and hit them all, then you'll still have enough action points to hit the third one as well at the very end of the map. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, you can basically take out, I would say, three bandits in one turn, in your first turn specifically. And that actually gives um, a very huge difference uh, for the combat as well. Uh, there you go, Uka and mashed potatoes, right? There's also another one which we'll cover um, after this. Rice pan, one rice grains, one water, one rusk, and one salt. Energetic too. Maximum energy plus 50 is also cheap, I would say. Uh, it's simple, as you can see over here, it just need rice and rusk, right? And then salt and water. And only one of them each. So, you know, increasing maximum energy plus 50 is always great. Um, again, especially if you are looting, right? Um, you will exhaust all your energy quickly, so this will be great. Um, it's actually great food. Um, 35, 10, also increase energy by 10 as well, uh, as well as increasing energetic. And it's also for 36 hours, so you know, it's about one and a half day, right? Um, so yeah, there you go. Next will be Blini, uh, 3 milk, um, 2 flour, 2 eggs, 3 sugar, 1 condensed milk. Although this one is a little bit expensive, I guess. Um, 
but yeah it gives you 100 75 and 60 energy which is always great one after another what does this do a uh, plus 10 percent damage per kill so this is great as well i guess for combat but it's not the one i use in the combo foot uh 10 percent damage per kill you know if you have polar axe and i mean polar armor then you already you already get the bonus from berserk anyway so you know um 10 percent damage won't give you much more damage i guess like maybe 100 or 200 more but um if you have polar armor it's already enough anyway it's already overkill so you know it doesn't it's great but it's not really you know your what is it like priority and then the next will be colibiac to salted fish or raw fish one flour one egg one water one salt one spice gives you one and there you go the stats radiation resistance uh one points this is terrible this is actually very useless because um i'm actually going to show you anyway let's remove my um mask filter i guess let's remove this and let's go to town over here this is Celia Beans, and as you can see over here radiation points is actually plus 17 and that just shows how bad it is right the radiation point so you know having this uh radiation resistance by one it doesn't change much much um it actually is very terrible and it's very useless so you know you might want to save all this resource for something else um the next would be chicken kiev i think this is one of the newer recipe as well uh f but not entirely new not completely new it's new like um at the start of 2022 anyway uh for salted meat or raw meat means meat i mean uh, flour to cheese uh to eggs when rusk to salt and one spices give you chicken kiev i guess this is um the like uh the dish from kiev i guess uh, like the um originated from kiev i guess because it literally says chicken kiev right uh looks like cardin blue uh, if you ask me um the chicken got uh you know inside a uh, flower right uh, what is it like uh you know like yeah the the batter right and then uh with it looks like some kind of bread crumbs as well and then you just uh deep fry right yeah just like chicken card in blue basically um head hunter what does this do damage to people 25 percent this is better than the um, where is it again this one the blini uh 10 percent this one 25 percent i guess it's slightly better but however again polar armor if you have polar armor then you got the berserk effect already which increase your damage by up to 99 percent um you know at that point you don't really need this uh additional damage anyway uh, also it gives you 150 so you can't really make combo this with uh something else right it will be a little bit difficult next will be pilaf uh, or pilaf three salted meat or raw meat to grain of rice one salt three water to fat two vegetables and one spice give you pile of i guess this is um i have seen this in real life but um i haven't really tried this so you know like i know what it looks like. it lo kind of looks like um it really looks like some kind of desert right like a bread um like a cake with like topping right but it's not it. it's actually rice with uh you know like chunks of meat it's actually it looks great i have seen this but i haven't really tried this so yeah there you go it's hunter damage to animal 25 percent similar to this one uh no not that one oh i think i missed that one this one had hunter 25 percent uh to people this one's to animal which is you know like it's great but then again you have polar armor unless the developer nerfs uh polar armor then this might be something you want to consider right as well as this one the chicken kiev um so yeah that's about it uh, otherwise it's not really worth it or at all uh, and then this one i skipped uh it will be c uh or sai i don't know how to pronounce that or sachi or sai chi i don't know i will just pronounce that c uh search speed search it plus 50 percent this is useless i don't really matter I, anyway um it's basically half your searching time which is not 
uh, it doesn't really matter anyway. So yeah, two vegetables, two meat, three potatoes, three clean water, two salt, one spices. Might as well save this for other recipe. So yeah, yeah, it got nerfed. Uh, if you remember, if you play this uh, since before 2021 or before that, then you know sea is actually very great source of food, right? But the thing is, it got nerfed and it becomes this useless um, buff anyway. So yeah, there's that. Next will be cake, scavenger, quantity of components found, plus 50%. This is actually great. If you want to loot towns, make sure you have some of these cakes and ready to eat it. Uh, not only give you energy, food, and water, which is uh, essentials if, you, if you're looting, uh, as well as giving you extra 50% of um, anything that you find, right? Which is always great. Uh, one condensed milk, one honey, two flour, one sugar, two eggs, and two milks. Not quite expensive. I would say it's mediocre. Um, I would say it's cheap for whatever it does, right? It gives you this uh, and the buff as well. So it's worth it, in my opinion, especially if you're looting. Uh, next will be pizza. Now, this is the third food that is in my combo, uh, which is tactic. Restore action points by plus one. So every turn you will gain one action points additionally, which is great. Uh, honestly, uh, in three turns, you will get plus three and you can use uh, additional weapon to kill something else, right? So it's always nice. Um, so the combo will be you eat mashed potato for 25 and then you eat uka again for 25 then that's 50 right and you know you might want to consider your food below 150 after eating those two and then after that you eat this pizza over here for tactics right so you have starting points um, restore every turn as well as hitting the opponents from far away because I believe when you're fighting like bandit base or um, like bee, beehives or something like that, the arena battles or tiles actually got expanded. So it's actually becomes wider and the opponents will become very distant from you. And they can also hit uh, from very far away. So you might want to consider the mass potato as well. But the main thing will probably be this one, the tactic and the... Uh, um, the Uka, right, which give you the starting point, training uh, this one over here, training two specifically. Um, so yeah, there you go, that's the combo that I used. Uh, pizza is actually expensive, three meat, two flour, two vegetable, two cheese, three eggs, two water, and one uh, salt, and one spice as well. And yes, it used eggs because um, it's not really for the topping, it's for to mix with the bread. So, you know, the flour basically to make the bread or... Um, the crust, right? Uh, the base of the pizza, basically. So, yeah, that's why there's eggs. It's not for the topping. So, you, the topping will be cheese, spices, and vegetables. Uh, but, and meat as well. So, yeah, there's that. 150 food. So, you want to eat pizza the last. Because after you eat this, 150, you will be full and you cannot eat anything else, basically. So, yeah. Also gives you 80 energy as well. And there you go. This is actually a very great... Um, buff honestly and then the next will be swarma for or shawarma i guess for meat one flour three vegetable one clean water three salt and one spices give you one of these 150 to 25 health 50 water more movement in pedals plus two this is actually great but um you know if you if you're like a Again, like if you're fighting bandit bases or beehives where the arena got expanded, then you might want to consider this before fighting so that you can move additionally, right? Like you can move, um, you have more, you can use more proximity, right? So, you know, there's that. And then the next will be meat loaf, uh, one fatty meat, specifically fatty meat, right? Um... One flour, two milk, two eggs, uh, one salt, and one spices gives you strapping lead 3, increases maximum HP by 100, but then again, polar armor, you want your HP to be low anyway, um, so it doesn't really matter. However, if you are new, then you might want to do this, but um, when at the HP, now it kind of makes difference, right? You can tank one hit basically with this. However, as you can see over here as well, it's quite expensive to eggs and two milks. 
um, as well as fatty meat so you want to hit like a boar or bear right for the fatty meat so it's kind of you know difficult to get uh, you know basically expensive um, so yeah there's that and then we have flying spaghetti monster okay this is I guess the same as well monster hunter damage to mutants but then again polar armor right um, don't do any of this if you have polar armor a strawberry cake a resistance resistance plus you know minus, minus two points like we just look at um, the radiation point from Chalia pins which is plus 17 so this is useless right and then the next will be treats um, this is interesting um, it doesn't have expiration date and it's actually just interesting in general because it gives you 13 treats um, recipe is quite it's like the most I think uh, recipe with the most ingredients but it's only one of them it's um, strawberry cranberry corn pumpkin um, like strawberry corn pumpkin you can grow this in the uh, greenhouse as for the cranberry you need to um, search it in the swamp I think or yeah for this right to get cranberry and then honey uh, for from the forest and then condensed milk NPC or looting uh, flour as well and clean water gives you 13 I like this just because it gives you 13 it's actually a lot of stuff so yeah uh, multiplied by 10 that would be 130 and then this one will be uh, 65 of each food I mean water and energy which is always great and 26 HP as well so yeah um, you know a lot of ingredients but it's kind of cheap because you only need one of these and it gives you 13 so it's great um, this is also from Halloween as well so yeah there you go because of the pumpkin and then yeah um, I guess that's all for the recipe and we already uh, spent 30 minutes into the video or even more but yeah let's start with the schematics right there's a lot of them um, we might want to do this a little bit quickly so you know here we go first will be fire the same five wood uh, you also need something to match um, you know like to start the fire basically like match a uh, lighter prime stove um, yeah anything right basically uh, to give you fire and then you can do that or flint and steel as well um, and then torch one wood one uh, racks 500 gasoline I think this is the same as well uh, burning search success it's still the same uh, sterile a sterile bandage bandage I mean uh, three racks one clean water I think this one got um, I don't remember is this five to one or one to one but I think it's one to one I guess so yeah there you go it gives you health as well um, yeah like you can use this if you got injured it's quite simple recipe as well right quite cheap uh, water filter three cans three racks three calls one glue or insulating tape um there you go and a knife to make water filter this is used to filter your dirty water into clean water um although actually if you ask me i think i would still probably pick um just punch ice during winter and then boil the ice so you don't need to use water filter and it gives you um water right so yeah clean water so i guess that's better than this um but that one took a long time right because you need to punch the ice first uh but it's cheap uh, honestly it's the cheapest cheaper than using this uh financially speaking right so this one will save you time a little bit but that's about it um coal one wood one coal it's the same i think uh bone glue here we go uh there are four of them also by the way last time i post a video um one of you guys asked where certain uh, recipe is so and you know as you can see over here um there's actually multiple tabs above this box right it means that to make this or other things there's more types to make it you know like variants basically so you know you don't always have to use bone you can also use fish just tap on the secondary type over here it gives you you know like fresh fish dirty water it gives you bone glue like that or you can use clean water as well uh, in instead of dirty water 
give you more I think yeah 3 to 5 as well as the fish variant as well so yeah there you go um flint spear uh, the same I think and then stand standard crossbow it doesn't really matter uh crossbow bolt um yeah I guess it's kind of useful as well crossbow bolt is basically the fuel I would say you know like always consider engine and fuel what will be the engine that gives you the power um you know like to do damage right which is the weapon and then the fuel will be whatever is used and with this case which will be crossbow bolt um if you're using bows then you will need crossbow bolts basically the bolts right um uh, if not then you cannot attack right um yeah because you don't have the bullets basically or the fuel and then this one bicycle with a car this is actually very useful if you're new um get yourself bicycle and if you found uh, some cards in the construction site in any city uh, grab that and upgrade your bicycle with card as soon as possible because you can get extra 70 kilograms that's actually very big amount um you know like bicycle itself gives you extra 40 kilograms and then this one gives you 70 this is actually great as well for looting i would say for early game uh, because it doesn't require gas and you know um it's also quite speedy as well as well as having carry weight next will be hut over here i don't know i don't understand why hut is actually over here and not early right um i'm not entirely sure uh, but hut's actually quite essential um not anymore uh, nowadays because there's no rest bonus but you can still get the storage time for food right i guess there is that um, and then handmade raft. I think this is still uh, unbroken or undestructible. Uh, so yeah, it's it has infinite durability, which is always great. Um, I don't know if they changed that. So let me know down below. Uh, nail club. It's useless. Um, fishing rod. This is actually great if you want to start fishing because uh, eventually you will need to start having food, right? Like free food or free water. Because you need it. So how do you get that? Well, you can get it from raw fish. And to get fish easily, you you will need to use fishing rod. So there's that. And then drying rack. This is also essential uh, to make dried meat and dried fish as well. So you want to make um, like the mutant meat. Oh, I don't think you can do that anymore. Um, you know, like you use this. And yeah, you, you use minced meat, right? And you got yourself drying a rag with raw meat and then you got yourself dried meat over here and then you use these two fish to get more dried fish right and then you can use that for more fish as well and then the raw fish as well you can eat that right it replenishes your food and water by good amount and then cloth this is necessary for everything um, and then handmade clothes it's useless kind of I would say uh, Cloth, I think this got increased. I remember for sure it requires it required five and five, five racks and five threads in the old version. Now it's nine, so it got nerfed kinda. Um, you know, but whatever. Since we still need that, we will have to craft that anyway. And then handmade bulletproof vest. Okay, so although this is called bulletproof, it's not actually to be honest. Um, it's kind of misleading because you can still get hit by bullets even after using or wearing this fast So yeah, it's just increased by 56 armor nothing great um, I would say it's not the greatest um, Activated charcoal It's useful um, You know, you will always want this because you need charcoal I think for medicines as well and stuff like that Handmade respirator one point useless as you can see Charlie pins give you 17 reducing by one means nothing uh dandelion tea um it got i think it got uh oh it does is it did it get nerfed i don't remember uh but yeah minus 10 i think this one minus something else like maybe not honestly i think i still remember in my playthrough in uh, earlier this year this is still the same, I think. Minus 10. Um, dandelion tea, uh, dandelion sugar, water for that. It's actually great as well if you're new. 
you just grab dandelion from the coast, uh, sugar from NPC, and water, I guess. And cut yourself dandelion tea, which will reduce your uh, radiation by 10, which is great. Uh, gunpowder, um, essential for crafting uh, bullets. So, yeah, there you go. And then, uh, lead bullet. I think all of this got changed, I believe. Maybe not the gunpowder. Uh, maybe it is actually. I remember this being 200, um, not 40, so it might get changed. I forgot. Let me know again. Um, yeah, lead bullet, lead, and this one is actually useless, I would say, handmade pistol, because this will get swapped with better weapons quite easily. So, yeah, there you go. And then you have motorized cart. If you have gasoline, start to have gasoline from NPC, then you can start using this. It gives you 120 while the bag with cart, I think. Yeah, it only gives you 70, right? So that's additional 50 kilograms. Always nice. Um, and then this one, motorized raft. I think this is still indestructible as well. So, you know, it's great. I think I used this to move from Leningrad to uh, Moscow, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, like from Leningrad to Tver and Moscow, because there is actually a waterway over here, um, where there is a channel or stream of water that you can go through with your boat or motorized raft, there you go. But, oh, actually, speaking of boat, I think the boatman gives you boat, so this might not be the best. Uh, because you got the boat anyway, so yeah, uh, forget what I said. This is probably, you know, worse than the boat, right? Just use the boat that the boatman gives you. And then chainsaw, uh, okay, there's that. Fat, I think this got changed, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure, honestly. Maybe not. Uh, one, uh, yeah, it, it it's not, I think. And then soap, this one is changed because it has washing powder. So, you know, um, fat plus washing powder and then coal and then water gives you one soap. Um, again, the soap uh, recipe got changed uh, or the crafting schematics. So, yeah, um, people are not happy with this. Uh, but, you know, like, um, I guess... I mean, there's nothing you can do anyway, right? Like, the developers can do whatever they want. And, you know, like, like um, want it or don't want it, you cannot escape from it, right? Um, you know, you will have to gain a soap, like, the way it is now, anyway. And then the next will be Molotov Cocktail. Uh, three of them. Uh, okay, one soap. Uh, 3,000 gasoline. I think this one got changed, the recipe. Uh, maybe because of the washing powder that requires to uh, craft soap because I remember you can only craft one of them and then each one will cost you about 1000 gasoline and one soap so yeah there's that I guess you can now craft three uh, with only one soap uh, which is great and then will be knapsack the next thing uh, 20 kilograms always nice if you're early as well as this one um, if I remember correctly, the new updates, uh, the backpacks, any type of bags, will not wear off. So, you know, it's basically indestructible backpack, which is always great, right? You just craft one of these and you'll be good forever, basically. Well, by forever, I mean until the next uh, update that nerfed this uh, backpack. But until then, you can always use that without having to repair them anymore. Next will be leather. This one also gives you oh boiled lead, boiled leather. Okay, uh, requires washing powder as well, which is new, right? Um, I think before this you don't need washing powder, but yeah, now it's new. There's this, and there you go. Uh, reinforced uniform uh, boiled leather. It means you need washing powder, and then rubber. So rubber is also um, it's one of these items that you cannot really craft, just like washing powder. And you can only found them by looting cities or getting it from NPC. Uh, but the great thing about this is that um, since these items are new, uh, the NPCs seem to have all of these. Like most of the NPCs actually have rubbers and washing powder as well as sandpaper. And then another one will be uh, 
there's another one that I forgot a tarp okay so the tarp as well they also sell um, so you might want to gather all these four items uh, before they actually changed uh, the NPC that can actually sell them so yeah uh, make sure you stack mo most uh, you know like m much of rubber and then boiled leather which we just know over here and it requires 15 of them that's actually quite insane a lot of them right you will need basically 15 washing powder and other stuff as well and then cloth 5 uh, thread 5 all right I guess um, um, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this uniform maybe it is great for early but again I'm not sure next will be tin can candle this is actually useless one of those items that are useless however in Halloween uh, you can make charcoal lantern and to make charcoal lantern you will need pumpkin and this tin can candle so there you go if you want to uh, you know grab some of these and sell to the community maybe they want to craft a lot of um, charcoal lantern then you can always sell this stuff right um, which people don't think anyway so you know if you have this then you will probably the first person that sells this in the you know trading channel right so yeah there you go and then threads um, this one's interesting because now you make thread and then you make rope uh, but before this version you make rope and then you untwist the rope and you get yourself thread right so it's kind of reversed now um, using these nettles and then use uh, craft the threads right and then you use the threads and craft that into rope using fat as well I guess for to make it a little bit slippery or something like that right um, to keep them to keep them intact I would say and then yeah um, so you know uh, it means that we can no longer just craft rope from nothing or nettle and then sells it to uh, the NPC, right? Because as you can see over here, it got changed, right? It got expensive, I think. So, you know, there, there you go. Um, can't really use ropes to gain a currency anymore. Next will be improved crossbow. I think this is the same. Uh, pistol ammo, it's still the same. Uh, yeah, it's still the same. Uh, healing self it's also the same as well and then next will be motorcycle it's also the same it's uh, always great to have motorcycle if you unlock this make sure you have one because 250 kilograms actually very great uh, and then handmade primer stove this is still the same um, you know I guess this is to start fire or if you forgot to craft uh, if you forgot to have fire then you can use this as well for cooking and stuff like that next will be salted meat uh, and salted fish over here there is two types don't forget about that and you know it requires minced meat uh, and one salt to make six of them so it's actually great uh, in this recipe it got buffed basically fresh fish six and plus one becomes six so you will need less salt nowadays uh, compared to you used to uh, next will be metal plate this is sandpaper uh, one of the four new items that I mentioned so there is uh, washing powder um, rubber sandpaper and uh, tarp right uh, so yeah uh, metal plate this is actually useful to make uh, many stuff so you might want to save some sandpaper and some scraps so that you can grab yourself grab yourself some metal plates because you need that as well as blowtorch, uh, blowtorch is actually quite expensive if you ask me um, also it's quite interesting that to buy one blowtorch is actually kinda cheaper than refilling the blowtorch so yeah there you go it's a little bit weird you know like um, if you see blowtorch in the NPC trader if, if it's available then you I would say you must buy it um, instead of refueling or refilling the blow torch so yeah there you go this is also new items I guess and then heavy crossbow it's it now requires metal plates which you can get like this uh, next will be gunpowder granite is still the same uh, highway armor it use metal plate now 25 so you will need 25 sandpaper for that uh, next will be energizing potion this is still the same uh, it got uh, reduced though. I, I believe it was 100. Now it's 60. 
uh, yeah, it's because energizing potion. I think people used this back then, so it's one of the most consumable thing, right? And as we can know from the update logs, um, they changed the parameters for the most consumed. Uh, items right which is this so that's why it got uh, nerfed basically uh, I guess just to make things balanced so that you can have more alternative for that next will be detoxifying potion uh, it's still the same uh, this one I think minus 30 not 20 or 25 but yeah it got reduced as well um, more packs I guess it's now uh, required metal plate for the rucksack and there you go Next will be antibiotics. It's still the same, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure about the sulfur though. Uh, maybe new, maybe uh, not, but yeah. Also, it used chemistry set. And then painkiller, it's still the same, um, I think. And then handmade shotgun for more, uh, for the shotgun weapons, right? You need 10 metal plates. And then for these shotgun rounds, it's still the same, more or less. Um, I mean the same ingredients or materials, right? But it might change the number, so there you go. Uh, I'm not, I don't know about the numbers, right? The specific numbers, but I kind of know that it's new or uh, changed, right? Like this one, it's new because it has metal plate to make handmade spear as well as sand paper as well. Um, and yeah, uh, and boiled leather, it means you need the washing powder as well. So there's three new items over here, right? Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, and then next will be this one, car battery. It's still the same, I think. Broken one, acid, uh, water, and tape to make new one. And then dug out, it's still the same, more or less, uh, the number of the materials. Next will be handmade rifle uh, using metal plate. And yeah. Uh, next will be rifle ammo this is still the same as well uh, numbers might change and then metal plate now and this is the first item that use tarp so yeah there you go um, it requires washing powder it requires uh, this one requires sandpaper and then this one requires tarp so there you go that's three new items right um, and yeah Next will be, oh, where am I again? Oh, this one, a uh, welder, um, still the same, broken one, uh, electrodes, cables, tapes, and wires to make a uh, welder, it's the same. And then to make generator, it's th also the same, I think, uh, chainsaw motor um, to make this rotate, right? The moving parts, basically, and then all the spare parts, cables, tapes, wires, oil, still the same, gives you one generator with no fuel. And then after this tent taken down, now it used tarp. Um, I actually love tent so much. Um, you know, like every NPC base, I think I have tent um, just to increase a little bit of food storage time there. Um, that's about it. Uh, yeah, there you go. Now it it needs tarp. This is new, um, and it's actually quite expensive to get tarp. Let's actually take a look at the NPC over here, the trader. Uh, yeah, there you go. I just but the blowtorch i already done with the npc like this period so yeah there's this washing powder rubber and then um sandpaper i guess yeah over here which i already bought for 80 and then tarp as you can see over here which is the most expensive one right which is tarp and i think this is also non-tradable so if you want this then you cannot rely from other players but you can get washing powder and rubber and sandpaper from other uh, player as well. So yeah, there you go. Um, let's continue. This video is almost one hour already. We need to be a little bit fast. And then the next will be a backpack over here. Tourist backpack. Which is the best backpack, I think. Uh, gives you 40 kilograms. Um, if you have vehicles like trucks or even bellas, then... This 40 kilograms is nothing, right? Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, but it's still nice to have this. Um, yeah, there you go. Maybe you want to give this to new players, I guess. That also works. Uh, you, they can use this backpack, I guess. 40 kilograms, always nice for new players. Uh, metal plates and tarp and boiled leather. Okay, so this one requires uh, washing powder. This is tarp and this one sandpaper. So again, three of them. 
still haven't found the thing that requires four new items so yeah we might have to see that maybe after this next will be charcoal pile this is still the same maybe the number changed uh, and then Lydia side still the same but this one got nerfed I think it was 100 now it's 75 so yeah uh, IR is still the same minus 30 uh, required I think it's still the same uh, more or less uh, next will be hand handmade lighter. It's also the same uh, smelter. This is new. Um, so to make smelter, uh, what is smelter? Well, smelter. If you remember the chimney, I would say. Not chimney, but more like um, the one that you need to craft uh, a lot of like nails. You know, like you like forts. I forgot what it's called again. Forts chimney. I would say um, to fort stuff, right? So now it's Melter, um, and you can actually bring this with you, which is quite weird if you ask me. Um, yeah, like this, like this burning furnace over here, apparently it can be uh, carried with your vehicle. Um, yeah, it's weird. Um, I don't recommend doing this in real life. You don't want Smelter in your car. Um, that's just... Um, I don't know that's just disaster waiting to happen right like it's very hot it might burn your car or something like that right so yeah I guess you can carry this in game which is unrealistic but whatever right it requires 50 metal plates uh, fire brick um, although you don't really see any bricks over here like this looks like only metals right I guess you know it makes sense uh, fire brick because you need the insulation right um, you know like uh, yeah that materials that can withstand high temperatures as it described over here so it makes sense to get smelter but then again it is a little bit weird that you can carry smelter in your car um, again or truck anyway so yeah there you go and then it requires cement uh, I guess for the brick right to make the concrete and yeah or the wall or the smelter walls walls I mean and then iron pipes as well I guess it's for this one for the uh, the air right uh, because if you want to burn the fuel you will need air right you will need oxygen so there you go the pipe one of them and then coal I guess coal is just for the fuel right coal plus oxygen plus fire then you get yourself fire basically uh, which is this one as the fuel for the smelter it also requires blow torch so again uh, you might want to grab a lot of blow torch to make this metal plate as well as to make the smelter itself so yeah, um, and then toolkit, hacksaw, welder, generator, I guess it's basic stuff. Next will be chemical reactor. This is quite interesting because um, what does chemical reactor do? Um, you guys remember this uh, chemistry lab? Um, this is in the old version, right? You cannot craft this anymore. Instead, chemistry lab will now be divided into two. First will be chemistry set. Uh, which is the basic set that you need to synthesize uh, like um, simple chemicals right and then you use these chemical reactors to make advanced uh, medicines basically um, you know like to make um, new stuff basically right um, to make advanced stuff so you know like basically chemistry lab got divided into two first will be the chemistry set again like i said for the simple ones and then the chemical reactor for the advanced crafting uh, which we'll see after this as well i believe uh, 30 metal plates aluminum and then lead as well as copper so this is new how do you get copper um you can buy this from npc or you can get old coins or any sorts of electronics from looting towns and then you can disassemble those stuff um, and you got yourself the copper or you can melt the old coins to get copper as well although that's not really um, the smartest idea because people collecting all those stuff so you might want to grab you know you might want to save all those uh, electronics instead just buy copper from NPC it's a little bit expensive let's actually take a look a trader over here I think there's one yeah it requires 1000 for each one of them so it's actually quite expensive more expensive than the tarp but then again um, it's better that way than 
using the old coins uh, because the old coins apparently people like to collect that and yeah there you go and let as well rubbers i guess rubber parts not to be confused with rubber um, so there are two uh, different thing right rubber parts and rubber um i don't think you can uh, disassemble tire uh like let's see over here yeah tires this is like rubber right it's quite uh weird that the game doesn't let us uh, disassemble or tear down these tires to make rubber or rubber parts right to make these rubber parts or this rubber right because essentially this is made of tire made of rubbers right so you know you can always tear this down to make these rubbers or tear this down to make these rubber parts right but i guess there's that um yeah i guess uh it's fine it's not really the end of everything basically next will be sulfuric acid oh we already been one hour sulfuric acid um i don't know if this video will get cut into two but if it does then i will actually put everything in one uh, time so everything will be part one all of them uh now this one it requires chemical reactor right so before i think you need the chemical uh chemistry set or lab but now uh because of the new item then you get to use chemical reactor um you know this one's still the same the recipe and yeah next would be well um it's still the same to get dirty water uh, then you can filter that to make clean water tiny mixture it's still the same it gives you four now um yeah there's that also still use chemistry set i think yeah um next will be tanned leather okay this one's using soap uh oh then it is then why does boiled leather require washing powder but not tanned leather well if you look closely it requires soap and we know that to make soap you need washing powder so you know tanned leather actually used uh washing powder there you go um you can't really see it directly but to make soap you need uh the washing powder so there you go uh, next will be leather armor it now requires copper uh metal plate tarp as well and rubber oh this is a this might be it okay this is the first uh item i guess that requires four new items which is tarp rubber and then sandpaper to make the plate as well as washing powder to make the tanned leather uh to make the soap to make the tanned leather so there you go this is the first um item i guess that requires four of those items simultaneously as well as copper as well so it's quite expensive if you, if you ask me uh, next will be brick house or wooden house first okay it requires metal plate i guess for i don't know what maybe for the door maybe you want a little bit of sturdiness in the door so that nothing can penetrate your house probably uh, but yeah still the same uh, nonetheless next will be uh the brick oven okay still the same but you need metal plate um don't know why you will need this though um I don't think this gives you anything but yeah it's just basically fire uh, place right um you know and that's about it next will be handmade assault rifle gives uh, need, needs 25 plate and that's about it next will be primer here we go uh, it requires washing powder uh, copper and then a chemical reactor as well um so yeah one of copper requires a thousand currency right so yeah i guess it's quite expensive but you get 100 primers now instead of just uh five i think or 20 or something like that but yeah um still cheap right uh considerably uh next will be assault rifle ammo this is still the same uh and then bellows it's also still the same uh, iron still the same but now you need smelter instead of the uh, forge chimney I, I guess but now it's use smelter there you go next will be iron anvil so this is also a new tools as well um, you need iron scrap coal and use smelter to make this iron anvil uh, there's also the steel version which is still anvil uh, instead of iron you will need still although you will still need iron as well over here i guess because it's for the mixture of the materials right or the um what is it the metal so yeah 
uh, next will be this one over here forge item now you smelter uh, I guess all of them still the same I guess same same materials but it just requires smelter now uh, and there you go to make nails wire scans pipes and barrels um, that's about it next will be iron spear in its sandpaper just like the other spear and it needs iron because uh, yeah, obviously it requires uh, it it's named iron spear right um, and then leather I think it's for the handle um, and then uh, nails as well and you need to use iron anvil or steel anvil as well I think um, and yeah uh, there you go and then this one combined armor it's still the same I think yeah uh, is it the first no it's not the first uh, rubber tarp washing powder but it doesn't require a uh, sandpaper I don't think uh, well, you need smelter and smelter needs plate and plate needs sandpaper So I guess you also need those four materials and Yeah, um, next will be the tools uh, toolkit uh, axe knife crowbar shuffle and Iron pot and hand mill uh, again. You need smelter for smelting those stuff Next will be handmade machine gun. Now it requires copper uh, and blowtorch. That's about it. Um, this is the advanced medicine that I'm talking about. Now it requires chemical reactor to make bryo bryocarm. And then it also requires mutant meat for whatever reason, um, I guess. Uh, gives you 150 instead of the continuous uh, health over time, which is, I guess, um, I prefer it the over time um, on top of this 150 in instantly so but I guess that got changed now and so be it metal cane now it needs uh, washing powder for whatever reason you know like to consume medicines you will need to consume washing powder again like it's a little bit weird recipe but I guess there's that uh, chemical reactor as well and then the last medicine will be um still the same i believe and then it requires chemical reactor as well and then greenhouse still the same it also requires this water purifier uh, which is this one uh, it requires still the same i i think uh, and then the next will be oh this one first the iron armor i guess it's it's great if you have uh, copper um, and then rubber tarp and you know like uh, leather as well washing powder and then smelter which is was uh sandpaper and iron anvil so yeah there's that and then there's this food or char food uh the community like the community likes to say char food because it's food in the char basically uh pickle veg pickle vegetables uh stew meat and then jam uh still the same i believe all of them the recipe uh but the number might change there's that Next will be synthesizing alcohol, which is still the same, but it requires chemical reactor now. So yeah, there you go. All of this is still the same, but it requires um, chemical reactor now instead of uh, chemistry lab. Uh, the next thing will be brick house. They say is the most uh, powerful house, I believe. Um, and then after that, there will be, of course, the Terra Moros, right? Um, but yeah, there you go. Still the same. Um, next will be steel, still the same as well, iron, aluminum, lead, coal, and you need smelter, so that's kind of new. Uh, the next will be steel anvil, steel, iron, um, scrap, coal, and smelter as well. Next will be this one, steel tools. Uh, to make steel tools, you need steel anvil, so yeah, there you go. Uh, steel tools, steel axe, steel knife, steel crowbar, steel shovel, steel pot and then sewing needle and hacksaw as well i think this this is new yeah it requires sandpaper um and then the shovel as well and then uh, the knife and then the axe and the uh, oh that's about it okay next will be steel spear um requires sandpaper and then washing powder as well uh, iron anvil okay so you will need iron anvil again to make all of these steel items over here uh, which is this one right um, yeah and then steel armor as well yeah it requires steel anvil as well copper tarp rubber um, washing powder and then sandpaper for the smelter um, there you go 
and then handmade rocket launcher this is actually great for fighting um higher level bandits as well because it requires three action points which is one less the, than the rpg uh, the most powerful one so yeah there you go uh, it's better to use this because it requires less action points still the same thing uh, which is stunning the opponents and that's about it um material wise is still the same i believe um and then there's plastic explosives uh still the same um it requires chemistry set not the reactor and then the last item will be aqua vitae uh to make uh aqua vitae you need barrel it's basically medicines still the same i believe but you need chemical reactor and then a house as well which is the same but yeah that's about it i guess all the new crafting sections although not um everything is shown over here there's uh, obviously there is like some hidden uh, crafting that only appears if you put things on the items like this one raw fat bag to make this um smoke fat bag then you need this right i think there's also the same thing like that with um i kind of forgot what um but yeah but I think that'll be it for today's episode. The first review, I guess, for the new schematics and then or the new crafting recipe and the new food recipe as well. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm sorry if this video got cut into two. Uh, I think I believe because we have been recording for more than one hour, uh, nonstop now. And yeah, I don't think it will be compressed into two gigabytes. And I don't think my phone. Um, you know, I don't think the apps will make this into one video, but I don't know, like, um, you guys know, right? Um, you already watched this video anyway, so y you already know what the deal here, right? Um, I think, but I think though, uh, the video will be cut into two, but I will still re uh, post this in the same time as well. But yeah, that'll be it for today's episode, the first part of you know like this big update review part one next will be part two we'll discuss about something else i guess and that's about it uh but until then thank you guys so much for watching i will see you again a few days from now in the next episode of dr survival stay safe stay healthy i will see you again very, very soon and see ya